Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I am unboxing a color checker from a company that I think they're still called x Right. I'm not sure. There's been some branding changes. I think they're called um, Calibrate, Calibrite now. Uh, anyway, um, this is uh, I think the top one in the model range. They've changed their model. I'll put it in the description. They've I think they've rebranded and renamed some of the products. So it gets a bit confusing, but I believe this is the top of the range in this calibration system model number, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the reason I got this one was it can also do OLED screens. So I've got a television I want to do. Um, and I think it can do 2000 nits or something like that. So anyway, I will show you a close up of the box and I'll show you the back as well. Just blocking out that a uh, serial number there. Uh, yep, I think that's it. So I will open it up. Okay, so that's what's in there. I'll just take it out one by one. We've got a little connector here. That I think plugs into the computer, I guess. It's a USB-C to USB-A. Take it out of the box to show you because that wasn't very good. So there it is there. And then we've got an instruction manual, which I'm going to go away and read in a minute. And then I'll show you the calibration part uh, afterwards. Download something and then here we go. So that is the actual device, very small, it's my hand, so it's tiny, it's got a little quarter inch probably there or whatever, and I guess that's the one that emits the colour and the signal, and then it comes with a USB-A, so that's why the converter I guess for new computers, uh, I'm not sure what that bit is, um, yeah, so that's it, I will cut the video now and I'm going to read the instruction manual. Um, and then I'll bring you back when I'm actually doing the calibration and we'll see how it goes. See you soon. All right, so I am back at my computer. I have read this little manual. It's basically just a set of instructions, just uh, talking more about how to uh, use this and how to, you know, the different modes. You actually have to go to the calibrite.com forward slash downloads website to download the software that interacts with this and gives you the ability to do the, the profiling of the monitor. So I'll flip the camera around in a minute and just show you what I've done. So I have downloaded it and I've run the calibration and it looks pretty good. It has changed it um, quite a bit and it, yeah, it's quite pleasing to the eye. So I will show you that, but before that I will show you this. So this is plugged in to the USB port. Um, I should actually unplug it just to show you um, what I had to do. And it didn't want to sort of like wake up at first. So I don't know, maybe you have to launch the software for it to kind of recognize this USB. I don't know, I had a few issues kind of connecting it, but it is working perfectly. Just, I don't know, there must be a sequence that you need to do. So yeah, I just plugged that into there to the adapter because I'm running USB-C and then I've plugged that into the laptop which I'll show you once I flip the camera around and then with this it's quite clever so it does three different uh, modes so you've got ambient light which is as it is so it's just reading from here as far as I understand I don't actually know how to uh, I'm just trying to center this uh, focus point. I don't actually know how to use that ambient. I can't find any information, but it says it can me measure ambient light as in, like, I guess it's like a like a light meter. Um, then you've got the, you flip this, so you, this comes up and flips back and you would put this on your screen, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, hopefully you can see it's got like soft felt there so that it rests against the glass. And then you've also got the projector. So that was that's for the monitor measuring. And then you've also got the projector uh, which you would, I think, from my understanding, you would screw it into a, like a tripod and then 
you point this at the projector, but I haven't done that, but as far as I understand. So it's got like three modes, the ambient, the measure, measuring the monitor and then measuring a projector. And I think it also does a scanner um, to calibrate the scanners because when I log into the software, that's what it says. But yeah, let's turn the camera around and then I'll show you what I've done on this end and hopefully that helps you somehow. So um, stand by. All right, so we've flipped over now. I'm going to Calibrite, not Calibrate, but Calibrite.com slash downloads. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. Uh, once I hit return, we, hit, uh, we land on this site. Uh, if you scroll down, you get to the downloads page. And because I've got the Display Pro, I will, I will download this one for my Mac. But there are also others here, so you just got to be careful which one you're doing. Like if that's the Plus and the Pro, then um, down here are some of the others. So I downloaded it, landed in my uh, downloads, then I opened it, installed the software, and I think it had to reboot from memory. So once you've done that, you then launch the software, which sits in your application folder. It's called CC Profiler, and connect this up and it then wakes up and connects the licensing, etc. And then I went to display profile and then it starts. There's also always a little help box on that side there. And you just run through the different options on the screen. I'll see if I can actually focus on here. I think it's trying to trap my hand, but yeah, so for this, I just set it to D65. It sort of tells you, as you walk through these, it tells you different things there. So I left it at D65 and 120 here. I uh, left the gamma at standard. I wasn't sure what to do here. I just left it as is. Um, and then next. And then up here is where you start the measurement. So when you say start measurement, it then tells you instructions as to what to do with the calibrator so you need to pull it up and then flip it it then it automatically as you saw the screen just flip because it recognizes that that's happened for best results please make sure that the measurement device is resting flat on the surface so you want it resting on there so one other thing that i didn't mention is this little weight here this actually is a counterweight for this so it'll basically hang like that and it's resting on felt like I mentioned so I think it's all safe but obviously if you had a big monitor or, or um, a TV or something you would need to extend this so the instruction manual just said you just press on this and then this cord moves so it becomes a longer counterweight or a shorter one so you just want to make sure, I think, from what I understand, that it doesn't, you know, that it sits sort of in the center of the monitor. And then I will click OK, which you probably can't see. And then um, please hang the device at the center and press Next. And then it will start its sequence. Um, and it goes through all these different colors, etc. So I won't play that. I'll stop the video now. But before I do that, I forgot about this bit. So yeah, this actually tells you to adjust the brightness of your screen. So mine was quite high and I've taken it back to, I'll show you what happens. So if I, if I go to adjust my screen, this number here will change. Uh, so you, they are asking for it to sit at exactly 120 if possible. So it has been a bit hard to actually get it right on the number, but I did manage to get it to 120. Let's, for the sake of this video, we'll just leave it at, uh, it's very finicky on my, because I've got a touchpad here. Let's just say 130, yeah, 129, and then I'll just say next, but it should be 120 from my understanding. And then it'll run through all the colors. It takes a couple of minutes. So as you can see, that it says uh, processing three out of 118. So it flickers like this to different colors. I'll be back in a minute once it finishes. All right, so that's finished. Ambient is not covering the lens. Please rotate the ambient monitoring position. So now we rotate it back this way, click it in. 
click next and it says the measurement was successful and to click next to continue to the next page and next again and now it wants to give this profile a name so I'll just call it one two three and save profile and now we can see the before and after as well down here I can't remember how you do it actually where was it um, oh there sorry before and after so it probably wasn't much of a change because I actually went from the already newly created profile that I did before I did this video so the only thing that's changed is the ambient light but before when I had the old profile on like the one that the Mac came with it was quite bluey and also like just the colors were not the same so yeah it has made a difference um, and it looks quite sort of natural like this it just looks neutral I guess would be if I were to describe it let me flick the camera back over I'm just sitting here taking a deep breath because honestly this video like everything has just been going wrong and as you can see the white balance has changed that's because my main light literally just went out as I turned the camera off <laughs> the battery has run out I couldn't plug the microphone in properly the screen stuffed up it was just been it's like nearly two hours I'm trying to film a five minute segment anyway total detour from the end of the video but I just want to let you know um, how these videos are behind the scenes a little bit as I do with all my videos anyway the calibrator looks pretty good it is expensive um, but it looks like it's quite a good tool I can see that across devices like I'm going to try and calibrate my television as well so that what I want to do is I want to be able to wherever I look I want my device to always be the same so that my um, my theory here is that my eye will get trained to a certain color standard as in neutral standard so that then when I look at pictures I can see you know dif differences because my baseline is always the same just hit the microphone see what I mean chaotic anyway I might end the video there uh, let me know what you think sorry the um, focus was a bit sketchy as well when I was filming that was just another thing that went wrong then I tried to refilm it then it just it, it, it's just not been great anyway that's real life I will see you in the next video soon I'm trying to make more of them now I've just about wrapped up my photography course so the one I was doing that is so I'll have a little bit more time hopefully to make more YouTube stuff see you in the next one Bye.